inspired in a lot of ways. I, every day when I go to work, I think, how in the world do they do it? And I'm thinking of you all, and I'm thinking of others, and I think we are an inspiration to many. And I, I want to express my heartfelt thanks, whether it means much or not, for the work that you do. So thank you, thank you very much, and please, everybody, give them a round. Thank you, Catherine is the Vice President of NAMI, of uh, the NAMI affiliate of Davis County and has been involved in NAMI for many years and in many ways is uh, the backbone of, uh, of what we're doing here. So a round uh, quickly for Catherine. Because <laughs> As sometimes happens, uh, the, a group of the, the women's organization was done, and the, the men that were there to play basketball helped them move all the tables and helped them clean up all the things and, and helped them get everything done. And then the women stood at center court and didn't move for a half hour while those of us who had come to play basketball were fuming and losing our temper. And, and Jerry went out to these, these women very sweetly and only the way that Jerry could get away with and say, ladies, I am sure that you could have an absolutely fantastic conversation out in the foyer, but the gentleman can't play basketball out there. So would you kindly move? <laughs> and bingo, they moved. <laughs> Um, about 14 years later, uh, our family was at a, a time of heartbreak. We didn't know where else to turn. And it was a time of confusion. It was a time of sadness. And I had no answers. And so I went to www namiutah.org and I clicked the Davis County thing and saw this phone number. And I thought, how many Jerry Kings can there be in Davis County? So I, I called him up and uh, in his, his very uh, unique voice, Jerry said, how have you been, Mike? And uh, I described kind of what was going on. And he said, uh, why don't you come to one of our support groups? I think you would really enjoy being uh, with some folks who have, are going through some similar challenges. And so I went to one of the support groups and they said, well, I was one of the support groups. There just happens to be one of the NAMI uh, family to family classes starting up in three weeks. I think you should really do that. And I did that. And Kathy, my wife did that. And I can tell you it absolutely changed our lives. And it changed it in two ways. One, it gave us understanding and insight. We knew a lot more about mental illness and we knew a lot more about how to help those that we love who have mental illness. And number two, and maybe more importantly, it helped us find a way to stop thinking about ourselves and maybe to help some other people who are having a really hard time and needed someone to talk to. Jerry and Olivia personify that. They have served in a way that is absolutely unique. It's, it's embarrassing to go to our board meetings. 
We'll go to our board meetings and we'll report around the table for accounting purposes how many hours did we volunteer that month. And I'll feel really great. I was 19. Spent a lot of hours teaching or spending time on mentoring calls and other people, 19 and 16 and 18. Get around to Jerry and Jerry will say 127. <laughs> and that happens every month. He believes and has been that um, critical a part of NAMI, not only in Davis County, but in Utah. So the challenge going out that uh, I give to this room and I give to a lot of other people is we've got to find 20 people to replace Jerry. <laughs> you laugh. I'm not kidding. Uh, we, we really have to. And so um, I, I, I thought of a, a lot of different things in terms of, of recognizing Jerry and Olivia, but uh, if you wouldn't mind, let's, let's give them the, the proper uh, appreciation and applause that uh, I hope they will remember going forward. Thank you.